And so he spoke, and so he spoke, that Lord of Castamere. Hello, and welcome to a new Let's Play series. Let's play Crusader Kings 2, A Game of Thrones. Now, I, I previewed this mod uh, a little, a few months ago, uh, around November actually, so quite a while ago, um, and they've made a lot of new improvements, and uh, they made one in particular that I like, and I'm going to uh, play. So it's going to be cool. We're going to have a, a very singular goal this time, and this, uh, this, this series will probably only go on for a couple of weeks. I'll try to play it a lot during that time and have videos up regularly, um, but they're going to release, you know, new versions of this mod and so forth, so, you know, it might end without warning, because I, I, you know, I, I have no control over when new patches for the game comes out, new patches for the mod come out, and uh, they're working on the new Essos mod here, it's going to create a new continent here, and I don't really like Essos much, so I don't really want to deal with that, so once that happens, I, I'm not going to worry about it, so what I would like to do is to create a kind of custom scenario. Uh, these are all, you know, the scenarios based on events mentioned or occurring in the books. Uh, and I am going to create my own scenario. So we're going to, for our scenario, we're going to look at our independent realms here. We're going to go to Crown Stag. And there's a famous event uh, in the books that happens prior to Robert's Rebellion. Um, and that involves this family house Rhine and basically there's this rebellion they rebel against the Lannisters who own the Westerlands and house Rhine is destroyed so if you you know mouse through it here you can see that this guy will eventually die here's Damon the Red Lion here's Tytos and he will be replaced by Tywin because his family will be wiped out in a rebellion so my th thinking is we will look and see exactly when that happens and then we will create a fictional branch family of House Rhine and, and, and place them in Dorne here and try to reclaim Castamere, which is our rightful uh, fief. And then once we do that, we will try to complete the rebellion and overthrow House Lannister. So if you see this, he's at war with the Westerlands. Let's uh, mouse through the, these dates here. So his son, he must have died. Okay. So, looks like they place the end of the Rhine Rebellion at, uh, all right, Tywin. So, they place the end of the Rhine Rebellion at May 4th of 8260, which I don't really know what that means. But anyway, so what we're going to do is House Rhine is dead. So let's pretend that instead of actually dying, they had a little um, branch family here in Dorne in High Hermitage, which if you'll note, there's House Dane. Uh, House Dane also has this, so I picked High Hermitage for that reason. I didn't want to destroy any actual houses uh, to create my own. So we're going to use this ruler designer thing here, and we're going to create our character. And so we, we want our ethnicity to be Westerman. We want... this doesn't matter. Uh, now we're going to name our character. We're going to name him Dysodar. Let's make it a male, obviously. I don't want Crispian to be my name. Dysodar. And the dynasty does not matter, and I'll show you why in a second. So I'm just going to name him Tybalt. And we'll say he is a Westerman, because the Rhines are famous for being Westerman. They're Faith of the Seven. And we're going to make our guy kind of a badass. So the way this works, the ruler designer works, is if it's red, it adds years to your life. And if it's green, it takes away years of your life. So my goal is I want to have a really, really good martial person and a fair at everything else, but martial is the thing I care about, and especially in this mod, while also being of very young age. So we're going to give him a brilliant commander trait right off the bat that gives you plus eight to martial and plus one to monthly prestige and that's the best thing you can get for Marshall. So next we want um, to go to traits here and I have a I've taken notes on what I want as my traits so the first trait I'm gonna pick is a genius trait and that already I'm age 55 so I'm really old 
I don't want that, but I'm going to continue anyway. Uh, I'm going to kick the strong trait. And so those two are what are known as inheritable traits, which means you can never actually gain them through um, anything other than birth. So I want my, my main guy to have these traits so that he has a high chance of passing them along to my offspring, which will then, you know, these two are very good, obviously very good traits. Uh, just by mousing over them, you can see that. So, now, now that my guy is 85 years old, I obviously need to pick some worst, some bad traits. And so the things I'm going to do for that, I'm going to pick uh, this trait. Well, I'll just go through the list. So, I also want to get the lustful trait, because it gives me plus uh, more fertility, and it also takes away six years of age. I want to get the... Uh, patient trait because it's really good but for some reason I guess it's a bug in the mod or something but it actually takes away a year so that's nice uh, I also would like to get the um, hang on the cruel trait it gives you plus one intrigue negative one diplomacy and negative ten de general opinion but it also gives you good morale for your army and it, look at all these years it takes away it's pretty nuts so I want that and we're gonna get to these a bit later I also want this disinherited trait now this actually sucks like really bad but it's not so bad in this case because my family is dead so I can never inherit anything so that just means all it means is I lose 22 years so that's nice uh, I also want to get this formidable fighter trait it'll add 35 years to my life but I need it now this is probably the most important since we're going to be House Rhine. We want to pick House Rhine here, and what that'll do is it'll fire an event within a few days, and we will be known as a member of House Rhine. And so you can actually do that. You could pick any of the in this mod. You could be like, oh, I'm going to create a guy of House Targaryen, House whatever. It's pretty cool. Um, now I also want the several of these. I want to get family person because actually it's a beneficial trait, but it, it loses seven years. I want to get the ruthless trait because it gives you intrigue, it sucks for your gen for your piety, and it sucks for your intrigue, but or excuse me, your general opinion and your piety, but whatever. I also want to get, um, and I also want to get. So right now I'm actually 16, which is really, really good. Uh, but now I want to worry about these kinds of things, these military traits. So I want to make sure my guy is a beast. And I always get inspiring leader. Um, I also like to get unpredictable leader. And I like to get anything that basically doesn't have any negatives. That's nice. Um, I'm wondering if these would be good. Desert, since I mean, you know, there. We're in Dorn, but I, I don't know. Uh, so last but not least, we want to get that one there, unyielding. And so that's all we can get. Uh, we could add some traits. I've debated adding ambitious or something like just, um, but I'm not going to. And the reason I'm not going to is just because age 16 is pretty good, and I would have to figure out like what else I'd pick. Like, would I pick lisp? You know, like, I don't think any of them are really, like, Legitimized Bastard is about the only thing I would, may, might pick. Or Homosexual. Actually, you know what, we're going to pick Homosexual, and we're going to also get, uh, Ambitious. So we're going to be 23-year-old Homosexual, but the cool thing about it is, we have the Lustful trait, and we have this thing, which gives us really good, uh, health. And our facility is actually higher than normal, as, as it is because of our other traits. So that's pretty good, um, and in fact, we can actually, and another way you can do this, so we'll close it. So these are going to be our traits. Uh, we could add sons, we could add daughters, I don't want to do that. Um, we don't, also don't want to be married, because that gives us negative advantages. So I'm also going to change my guy's pin appearance, and I'm going to do that off screen, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and notice how it says Lady Dysodar. I think that's funny. Uh, but, yeah, so another thing you could also do is this. I'm not going to because it'll just change it to House Rhine within a few minutes. 
So right now let's look at our guy. We have 11 Diplomacy, 26 Martial, which is really good, 13 Stewardship, 16 Intrigue, 13 Learning, 7.5 Health, we're nuts healthy, we're going to live a long time, uh, our fertility is pretty good, we don't have any kids, no, not marriage, we are Westerman, Faith, Faith of the Seven, age 23, etc. So I think that's pretty good, um, and you know, the, prob the main issues we're going to have, we have a couple of these traits that reduce our general opinion. Uh, by 10 each and then we also have problems with piety uh, I think from specifically ruthless and um, lustful so those those are gonna be our issues as this guy but regardless we're gonna do this so let's make it let's begin so our goal is to as I mentioned get Castamere back and it'll take a while so now they're asking me if I want to play with seasons I do not so here I am, Ser Dysodarg of House of High Hermitage. And it says I'm of House Tibble, that'll change. So we wanna So my guy doesn't want to get married, that's interesting. I guess we'll want to become a knight, why not? It says I'm Ser, so I don't know why I'm not a knight anyway. Alright. So we are quite we're quite insane. Like this is these stats are nuts. We're never gonna get a, a better player, a ca player character than this guy. All right. We also have crappy, crappy people. Ugh. All right. So the first thing I always do is I always send for this maester, and then I try to hire a septon if I can. That can be useful, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't really have any money. I don't have that much money. So, man, our people are horrible. Let's try and train troops. We're gonna have you fabricate claims on Black Mod there. We want you to, uh, I guess, oversee the province. And there are differences, obviously. Like you can tell, there's six instead of five. Um, but in general, they're basically the same. Like the main, the main things you want, you want guys to um, reinforce your levies a lot because they don't reinforce on their own like in the other games uh, unless you have very specific traits so so Tywin is doing stuff we always just as part of our fun role-playing we always want to be against Tywin because <laughs> we hate him because he killed our family right, so I need to get married that's the first thing we need to do and let's look to see who's available and our diplomacy is our weakest trait, so that's what we're going to look for in a wife. And I also, but the main thing I always look for in this mod in particular are these inheritable traits: genius, strong, etc. So let's see if we can't get a really good wife. Doesn't look like it. You might have to get like this mage Mormont over here, or. <laughs> Mage Mormont, we could marry her, that's funny. Alright. I guess Mage Mormont is it is. So she's what? And yeah, she's the only one with an inheritable trait. That's amazing. Let's get her. We're gonna marry her. We don't need it quite so fast. Alright. Lord Gerald, the Sword of the Morning. Okay, so he, this guy is our lord. I know him. He has Dawn. Anyway, 